Welcome back to the show. It's a season finale for Date with Ranu right here on High TV, your luxury channel. My next guest, this show went on air on the 28th of October, featuring Dirk and Anitra. Dirk known for his very busy corporate life and right now he's enjoying it with his wife and beautiful children and at the same time, this whole drama with Colombo Fashion Week. I got into fashion a long, long time ago. Right. It was my first business, actually, that, right. I, that I started. When was I had this? This, uh, this was probably in the, in the late 70s. Right. The times when you used to end up on the CFW stage reduced. Why was that? Uh, well, I mean, this, this was all, you know, things that happened as the show went on, I guess. Um, uh, <laughs> You know, it, it's some uh, people like publicity more than others. Okay, yeah. so. but that was the time when you used to do this. Yeah, there was a time when we used to do that. Yeah, yeah. and it stopped. Yeah. So I thought I'll bring this back to you, and show the two expressions on each faces. Yeah. <laughs> Who is actually the face of Colombo Fashion Week? Is it Ajay or is it Dirk? What's exactly going down? Well, although I kind of know the answer right now, I cannot reveal the whole thing. But more on this on season two. But Anitra spoke about how it is to be a great model and the fact that, you know, discipline is what all these models today need and the fact that how she believes in living such a clean life. This is your real hair? Yes, it is. And this is how it aged? Well, I was white at 30. Right. It was young when it aged. Yeah, yes. but I stopped dyeing it only about five years ago. Right. You used I to got have the it. guts to do it about five what years ago. What was the colour before? You used to have it brown? Uh, sort of chestnut brown. Yeah, but yeah. this suits you better. Oh, thank you. And it has become your signature look. Yeah. Andre Stefan and uh, Timo. These two guys have been being together for a long time. And what's amazing about them is the fact that they spoke about the connection and uh, Stefan's one-time marriage to Chula. And what is the drama with Chagall? Now, Stefan and Gerald were co-owners of this salon Chagall. And then Stefan walked away and started Ark, who is a hair and makeup partner. So what is the drama there? We just wanted to speak more about it on the show. You were once married to Chula, who you somehow made her a supermodel of our country. This is another misconception Colombo has. Uh, my middle name in no way is Jesus. Right? <laughs> I didn't create anything, right? So, uh, you know, <laughs> she, Chula always had an amazing sort of possibility of becoming all her jawline is a gift from <clears throat> God. No, I mean she there's no question about the fact that she she had everything it took. What made you start Ark? <clears throat> Why because you made a brand out of Chagall, which was like everyone's hair solution. This okay, uh, like anything else, I think when directors don't see eye to eye right. on taking a product forward. Right. I mean, to me, I will always say one very important thing, which is why I think maybe this question is more interesting than juicy. Yeah. To me, even to date, I still have not met any hairdresser who cuts as well as Gerald. Yeah. Next up on the show, on the 11th of November 2018, I had these two beauty queens. They both won Miss Sri Lanka for Miss Universe. And why the two of them together? Well, when Amanda won Miss Sri Lanka for Universe, Everyone said, oh, you look like Stephanie. And I predicted both of them winning. Mm. Just wanted to put myself there. But here's the story. Both of them have a lot in common. One, they both don't have a crown to hold on to. They both didn't get a national costume to represent Sri Lanka on a proper manner. They were not exactly looked after as beauty queens. So they had a miserable reign. And they wanted to speak about it. So I had them on the show. You don't even have a crown. I don't have a crown. You, you, don't, you didn't get your air ticket. You didn't have your gown to wear. You didn't have any evening outfit. Well, I was given a gown to wear, to be fair. But it was terrible. Um, it was lopsided and see-through. So I actually had to... Um, and I didn't get a training. I didn't, I mean, like you, Amanda, I was an academic. I had never opened a fashion magazine. I didn't know how to put makeup. The extent of my makeup bag was a cardial little thing that I would put and lip balm. Stepping out from here, I didn't know exactly what to expect when I went there initially. So once you go there, you realize that your lack of training, you know, one thing, 
you have no you've never been taught to walk on a stage like that you have to learn a specific walk then apart from your training your wardrobe your wardrobe is key over there dating back to 18th of november 2018 now this was a very special show the reason gerald was giving back the answers that stefan left up in the air now these questions about Chagall and the fact that would they ever be friends because they were a great part of uh, working together and the fact that Stefan actually used to wash people's hair at Gerald's salon way back in Australia. Now that's the past that they have. And Gerald said, no, 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 no. I'm never going to talk to him again. So that friendship is just a full stop there. Anusha is um, Gerald's closest friend and he gets invited for everything that Anusha goes for and sometimes he doesn't even apparently have a say so it's more like okay fine I'll come it was a joint venture where it was Chagall the name was brought in mm -hmm. and you and Stefan were great friends and great business partners but when did it all sort of break about two and a half years ago we just went our own direction and are you happy with the decision I am very happy the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> I don't have to answer to anybody or think about anybody but myself. Anusha, now you're equally loved and hated in Colombo. There's always two sides to it. I think there's always two sides to anybody or anything. <laughs> so. so how is your relationship with the editor of the High magazine? Well, she's the editor of High magazine. I'm Anusha David. This is High TV and you're interviewing me on High TV. So you, you and Shamli are good friends or y'all are acquaintances? Well, I wouldn't even say we are acquaintances. A date with Danu. It was fabulous. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope he enjoyed it. Um, it was an experience. Well, as for me, yes, it is fun. I enjoyed it. I have to say I was a bit nervous because I'm not very good on TV. But uh, we had a great time. I think Danu is a very entertaining, a very gregarious, very good-natured, outgoing personality. So it is easy to react with him on TV. Uh, a couple of questions did throw me off a little bit off balance, but it was fun. It was fun. We enjoyed it. And I had the most loved Sri Lankan musicians, Bhatia and Santosh, on the 25th of November. What I love about these two guys, they are simple and both of them are so different. Bhati is the one who keeps everything in check. Santosh is someone who is so family oriented, loves a good meal, enjoys simple conversation. Now Bhati spoke about how many years it has been, 20 years in the music industry and what a journey it has been. And the fact that I wanted to know why they ended up doing some political endorsements. Uh, the brand Bhati and Santosh is celebrating 20 years in the music industry. Yes. And how young were you when you started this? <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting me <laughs> to spill out the beans. Yeah, so, just, just so, sort of. So we started this exactly on my uh, 22nd birthday. Right. So it was my 22nd birthday when we started uh, Bhati and Santosh. In this 20 years, yes. have you all ever contemplated, either one of you, like we need to stop this? No, I don't think so. What is your opinion about the no. new music? No, no. these mu uh, new media music videos with bananas in people's mouth, whips being hung. Have you seen us do anything like that? No, I just want to know no. whether would, that would it be is the like only way. See, simple, every, right? Everybody has yeah. their own personal yeah, view. Everyone has their life. right to do whatever they want to do. That is true. But it's like this. We are a country, to a great extent, we have a certain amount of conservatism within us. Yeah. Right? Just there is only one small thing you need to do. When you are about to do that, just think, do you want your son or your daughter to see that? Then... That's a simple thing. That is true.